you know, this Saturday we have Dan Aziz, Joshua Boatsi. I'm looking forward to that fight. And time this video goes out, it will be Wednesday morning, most likely. I'm probably going to do my preview and prediction Wednesday evening, most likely. That's a really, really good fight, Dan Aziz, Joshua Boatsi. And obviously when we look at light heavyweight in general, it's, it's you know, you have Smith, or sorry, you have Baturbiev, Bivol, and then you kind of have Smith, Vodsek. You, you don't really have anybody really there that you look at and think, oh, they're going to cause these champions. It's kind of a bit tin on the ground at light heavyweight. It really genuinely is. Um, one name that's always banded about is Anthony Yard. Now, he returns on the undercard of Hamza Shearer versus Liam Williams. That's a very, very good fight in of itself. It's over in the Copper Box, uh, Saturday the 10th of February. So really, really good fight. Really looking forward to seeing that, right? Anthony Yard's on the undercard. That's fair enough. He's fighting a guy here by the name of Marco Nikolic. Nikolic, I think is how you say that guy's name. He's a 34-year-old Serbian, six foot two. Been pro now since 2013. He brings a professional record of 32 wins, three defeats, 12 knockouts. Looking at this guy's resume, it's not Stella, to say the least. It's been stopped a few times, been stopped early in the second round by a guy here from Italy, Ivan Zucco. That guy stopped him in two, or so, yeah, two rounds. It's been stopped in the 10th round by a guy who was 10 2 and 2 and is now 14 and 8. So that's really not good. Um, and that guy doesn't look like he's any great shakes either. So this guy, his career, it's not been, you know, jaw-dropping, jaw earth-shattering, anything like that. And this is the guy Anthony Yard's in there with now. Now, it was only a few weeks ago you were hearing Yard toy with potentially a, maybe a move to cruiserweight, and then you're hearing about Callum Smith, Anthony Yard. And Anthony Yard is a fighter who I've always rated very highly. I think he's tremendously talented. But... It's the same old with him. And, and I have seen a little bit of this guy fight. I, I looked him up on YouTube and I, I looked at him. And he, he looks like no great shakes. He looks quite slow and yeah, nothing that's really going to trouble Anthony Yard. Now, some would say, what's wrong with that? You know, Yard had that performance against Peturbiev last year. He lost, but many people's eyes, myself included, did a better job in defeat than Callum Smith did. And he did, in my opinion, he did. Problem is, right, Anthony Yard is now 32 years old. He's been professional now nearly a decade. And with the exception of maybe Lyndon Arthur, he's never even had a European level fight. If you consider Lyndon Arthur a European level fighter, fair enough, I wouldn't necessarily, I'd say he's firmly British domestic level. And we're still seeing this, you know, big jump up, all right, it doesn't win, and then he goes way back down. I mean, I will say his last fight against that Jorge Silva guy, in his defense, and, and I will say that, he was meant to fight uh, Ricky Summers, who I believe pulled out, and he literally, I mean, he wasn't even at the press conference, I was there, he wasn't even at it, because they didn't even have an opponent, they only announced that at the weigh-in, so uh, I'll give him a pass on that one, but Ricky Summers still is, is no great shakes, no disrespect to him, you look at Yard's resume, I mean, it's it really is quite thin. You know, Travis Rivas and then Sergei Kovalev loses that. I remember he fought Diego Ramirez. This isn't really a career review, but it's it's turned it into that. That was the, that guy Ramirez is a middleweight. He fought him in Barcelona. Yeah, he was. It was in Barcelona. And I'm pretty sure it was in Bar. I know it has it there, but I'm pretty sure that was in, well, it was in Spain. But he fought that guy who was a career middleweight. Fought Dex Spellman, who was English level at best. Loses to Lyndon Arthur. Fights this Alex Tarrant guy who I remember that fight. Absol that guy literally, that was embarrassing. That was really bad. And then he beats Lyndon Arthur. I actually can't remember the next fight he had. It was forgettable. Fights Paterbiev. And here, basically here we are. I just don't, I, I can't get my head wrapped around why this is still happening with Anthony Yard. He is a talented fighter. There's a lot of talent there. For someone who had such a limited amateur experience, the act, the talent he has, the speed, the punch and power, there's so much good stuff there. Why, like, I, I'm racking my brain here. Light heavyweight is not even stacked that much. Surely you can take a better fight than that. Surely there is 
you want to stake your claim to be the best light heavyweight, certainly in the UK. Well, Dan Aziz and Joshua Boazzi are fighting one another. And I think the winner of that fight can arguably say they're the best in the UK because, well, Anthony Yard, whether you think he beats them or not, he's not fighting them. And he's still fighting these guys. I mean, Anthony Yard, it was fine when he was starting out because he, he, needed, he needed any fights, to be honest with you, because he had such little amateur ones. But he was, what, 25, 26 years old? Now he's 32 years old, going on 33. I, do, I, I can't rack my head around or get my head around why they're still doing this really, you know, take a big step up and then don't just drop down, drop right the way down. Unbelievable. And look, sure, uh, let's just... Anthony Yard is ranked 17th in the world by box rec. I look here, right, and I see guys like Michael Rivera. I see that Robin... I can't pronounce his last name. He's a German fighter. But he's old, but he's durable-ish. I would imagine. Uh, durable, yeah. And there you go. There's someone there. Uh, let's see who else. Again, it's very thin on the ground. Jan Pascal's knocking around. Willie Hutchinson's a Frank Warren fighter. Dion Nicholson. He only has one loss. He has a bit of pop there. He's a bit of punching power. He's actually trained out of... I don't know if he still is there, but he used to train. Certainly, he might still be. At a Wilder's gym. I think he was trained by uh, Jay Deas. He looks like he'd be fight by trained Jay Deas as well with the way he swings. But there's guys like that. I mean, why... Ooh, I, I, I don't get this. I really don't. And are they envisioning that they're going to be fighting Callum Smith maybe in that Matchroom Queensbury show, whenever that's going to be in Saudi Arabia? Maybe... But, you know, last, I, I just, I, I don't know. I really, it's a strange one because I think with Yard, I think he, I'm not going to say for definite, but if he stays at light heavyweight and Baturbiev and Bivol have their fight and say those belts get stagnated, they get chucked around, seeing how thin on the ground light heavy is wouldn't surprise me if he picks one up. At one point I thought, yeah, he'll definitely be a world champion. Now I'm kind of like, I still think he can be, but I'm not as sure now, considering the fact he's older. And we're still really, you know, big step up, right back down. Why? You know, I know Tunde says timing is everything, timing is everything. Well, it's not been, it's not been, timing's almost been there the last two times you've stepped up, but it hasn't. And maybe if you did some of these fights, you know, decent level, you know, where you'd still make Yard favourite, but let's see him test it. Maybe he would have performed different. Maybe he would have been better in those. Maybe he would have not, in the Kovalev fight, certainly, not thrown everything but the kitchen sink at him. And then when he couldn't get him out of there, it was like, crap, what do I do now? That's what I got to say on that. I rate Yard. I think he's tremendously talented. And I've always said that about him. Tremendously talented fighter. But it's frustrating when you see a fighter so talented and you're like, mate, surely you can step it up a little bit. Come on. Really? I know it's a 10-rounder and you can say, oh, gee, it's only a 10-rounder. It's still, like, I mean, you, you could do a little bit better than that. I think that's how talented, like, Yard is, I, I can't emphasize enough, I think he's so talented. And it's like, come on. Come on, there, there, there's better there. There's better there. That's my thoughts on that. It's a quick win that won. Um, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are on Anthony Yard. Are you surprised by this opponent? Do you think that, okay, it's maybe I, I've looked at him. I'm not impressed, but maybe I'm missing something. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Yard versus Smith, do you think that fight will still happen? Do you think that Yard may target the winner of Boatsy Dan Aziz? Do you think he might even look at cruiserweight and just think, do you know what? I fancy my chances there. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I do worry because he's just, he's 32 years old. He's not getting any younger, you know, and he's very athletic. He's getting into that age where you might start to see the athleticism dwayne a little bit. Might have some problems. Let me know your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed the video, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, as always, if you haven't already. And for now, I will leave you with that. Peace.